The new building was constructed because of our, uh, because of the portables. So our portables are um, basically expiring and there's a, there's a rule that they can only be in operation for a certain amount of years. So a new building needed to be constructed to move our students and our teachers out of the portables and into a new building. So COVID did have an impact on the timeline of our new building. Uh, obviously we had some shortages with labor. Um, obviously if people were sick, they can't work. There were also um, supply chain issues. So some of the supplies and materials that they needed to finish the job were sometimes back ordered and things like that. So that did extend the timeline of our opening, but overall, uh, the construction team and the district crew were able to work through uh, the pandemic and still manage to get the building open. No, no, there were no major adjustments to the building itself other than it just taking a little bit longer than expected due to some of the labor and supply shortages. The original timeline would have put us in of August of this year. That was the goal. It was a two year project. Uh, unfortunately, due to COVID and some other factors, uh, that timeline was pushed back to January and then they were pushing for spring break and we just missed it by about a week. So um, it was about probably six months behind schedule. So the building is fully functional. We have uh, internet and water and electricity and air conditioning. Uh, all the furniture has been installed. There are some just some minor things that are still being um, finished, but we are beginning to move uh, our teachers over this week. In fact, I have some coming after school today, this weekend, and our goal would be sometime um, next week to have everybody out of the portables and all of those classrooms uh, in the new building starting sometime next week. The architecture behind it, I'm not sure. I wasn't here for the original planning, but I know the idea was to enhance our, our campus and provide a courtyard space, which hopefully all of our Falcons got to see firsthand this morning, and provide not only um, multiple classrooms and labs, that are state of the art, but really the design behind it was to provide a um, just a 21st century state of the art building for our for our students and our staff to uh, to teach and learn in. So the portables very soon, uh, possibly as soon as the summer, will actually be demolished and they will be tearing them all down. So those portables will not be there much longer. So once they uh, demolish the portables and get rid of all the uh, structures there, the idea is to hopefully turn that into an athletic field or a training field, open up the space for PE, and possibly even have our flag football, soccer, sports like that be able to not only practice here, but potentially even move our home games here to Falcon Cove instead of having to do them at Vista Park. I hope you guys enjoy the new building. Thank you.